Hi, this video is me practicing life drawing or drawing poses. It contains nudity because I'm drawing from nude references. There's nothing sexual about it. It's just a great way for artists to practice drawing the human form. So if you don't like nudity or seeing naked people, then this probably isn't the video for you. So you better leave now. I love drawing people and sketching in public places, but I can't really expect to be able to draw them without putting in the practice by studying the human form and drawing it until I understand how to draw a quick yet believable sketch of someone. I can definitely see a huge improvement in my art after I've done only just a few pose studies, so if you feel like you're lacking a little bit, just have a go of going back to basics and studying the human body. There were a couple ways that I went about the drawing process of these, just to see which way I enjoyed more or which one I found easier to do. I would look for the line of motion to run my pencil through to get a feel of how the person is standing and the weight distribution. And the other way was looking for large shapes that the models make in their pose. You'll see in a couple that there's large triangles or squares that they've made the way they're sitting. So one girl was on her back with her feet in the air creating a triangle down to her head to her bum and then back up to her feet. And so I just played around with those over and over again seeing what way works the best. I also wanted to show you how I went about creating the poses in real time. So I started out with a basic gesture line and using that as a center point I added like a body pillow shape for the body and like curve. It looks like a body pillow. And I had that shape pretty spot on so I could just go around and outline it with a darker line showing off where the bone bulges are and the skin rolls. It was, it was a really good pose to practice with. I really should have done one with the shape method I was talking about. I didn't even think of that. I'm doing quite a lot of these little chicken scratch marks to get the right lines but after this I started to get more into these long expressive curved lines to show off like the calf muscles and the thighs and the arch of the back so as I went further and further into this drawing session I got more knowledge about the best way to draw these poses I have this weird sort of rule when I'm doing life drawing sessions or I guess with any drawings it's if I draw everything on the female model I have to draw everything on the male model because let's be honest there's loads of completely nude females in the art world but not too many completely nude men like there is usually something covering his privates if I'm comfortable drawing a naked woman uh, I want to be comfortable drawing a naked man it's art it's expressive and open and you can do whatever you want. So don't feel uncomfortable drawing naked people. Naked bodies are natural and beautiful and with such a huge variety of shapes and sizes it's wonderful to draw them and sketch them. I don't think I captured the right leg very good so I tried to fix it but it still wasn't any good so I just left it. The sites I was using through this process was lineofaction.com thousands of life drawing photos.com, quickposes.com and sketch daily reference site.com and they all contain nudity but you can choose to have just clothed models so I've seen a lot of artists get these weird bright colored or just random colors and color in illustrations with no real order, they just scribble them on. So I got some pencil highlighters and tried it out. But they honestly look like they've just got some really weird sunburn. So. <laughs> See how the gesture line on this one goes right from the top of his arm all the way down through his body to his left foot where it plants on the ground. It can feel a bit daunting at first, but once you get into it, it's actually really fun. 
I really want to do more videos like this. I love drawing figures. I think it's just such an amazing experience and the final product is so fun to look through. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a bonza weekend and definitely keep drawing.